my Make Code Arcade game pick of the week, which is Hangman by Thay STG. And let's take a look at it. Here you can see it's your traditional Hangman game. You use the arrow keys to move around the keyboard uh, to pick letters. So let's uh, head over to E, for example, if I wanna guess an E. And I don't know what word this is, and it's hard. I may fail, but we'll give it a shot. And now I'll press the A key uh, on the, or the A button, rather, on the controller, the virtual controller. And it says there's one E. All right, let's try an A. Uh-oh, let's try an O. And how about an I? Okay, we have a bunch of I's. And as you can see, when I'm, when I'm hitting wrong letters, it is taking out uh, body parts and displaying them on the hangman's gallows there. Let's try a T. S, okay. Uh, boy, I don't know. How about uh, a C, an M? Simi, simip, simage. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take guesses. Anyone in uh, the Discord or YouTube chat? Uh, hey, no, and Pedro, you guys are over there in the YouTube chat. Welcome. Simile? Do we think it's simile? I'm gonna say it's simile. Uh, oh, and that's what Andy Ca Calloway guesses as well. Yeah, we win, simile, woo! All right, I'm about one for 10 on winning in this. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the game here for a second. This is really impressive. It's done entirely in blocks. And don't cheat and look at this array because it's all the possible words that are in the game. So you can see this was created as a huge, huge array. I encourage you to go and check out how it's created. Uh, it uses some pretty cool logic to do things such as figure out where the cursor is and snap it into place instead of free floating it. Um, when you press a, uh, the A button, it will either uh, display a correctly guessed letter and has some logic for going through and figuring out if that letter exists in the letter and where and placing it properly. Or it'll draw one of the um, body parts. If we zoom in here, there's the head, for example. Uh, so you could go in and do things like adjust those graphics if you're interested. Uh, what I decided to do is I was forgetting which letters I had tested. Uh, so I wanted to add a little bit of code that would give me a X through or a slash through a letter I had tested. So you can see here, I'm just gonna drop it into place in that same block uh, for the button A press. And what I've added is I create a new sprite uh, and I'm just giving it a kind type of kind food, which won't actually matter. Uh, and then I'm setting that sprite to whatever the current pause X and pause Y position are. Pause X and pause Y are already being found in this function here. Um, so if we, once we've added that, if we go back and check out the game, now when I go and uh, let's try an O, uh, you can see now which letters you've tried out and you won't. Um, be as likely to hit some repeats. Um, I actually don't know what happens when you hit repeats. I lost. Wow, that was horrible. Um, so that is a lot of fun. Really a uh, uh, very well done game. I'm super impressed. So please go check out Hangman by Thay STG in uh, the forum.makecode.com in the arcade forum. That's uh, usually where I go to check and find new games. Uh, and have a look. Uh, and if you run through all the possible ones in there, you can always add more word lists. Uh, I, I'd say that would be a, another fun way to customize this. So uh, you also, uh, as you notice, you don't need a uh, piece of hardware to do that. So if you are stuck at home without any particular piece of hardware, uh, go and check out Make Code Arcade to uh, learn how to program some games or play some games that other people have made or modify them. And uh, that is my arcade game pick of the week.